Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This one is about the new JPEG Mini uh, update release beta. So uh, they sent me a copy just to kind of test it out and get my opinion on how it works and everything. Um, they sent me a uh, Lightroom plugin. They also sent me uh, the Photoshop plugin as well as the standalone. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over, um, we're going to try and go over uh, the Lightroom one because Lightroom, blah, blah, Lightroom plugin because that's the one that I use the most and also we'll go over the standalone and in the uh, next video we're going to go over the Photoshop uh, plugin um, because I, I don't use that one as much and it would it's going to take me a while to figure out exactly uh, you know how to use it and everything but I mean it's pretty simple but Anyways, uh, so that way we can make this video nice and short. So let's just jump into it. So uh, what we've got over here is some um, sample images from a photo shoot I did for a publication a little while back. Uh, just a standard headshot as well as a environmental headshot that, you know, that's what I like to call them, people in their workplace environment, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I've already... Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, what to do. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go, uh, once you've downloaded it, after you've purchased it or done the uh, demo from uh, their website, you're going to, you know, blah, 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 let's see, you're going to download it, you're going to install it, and then it's going to open that window that has the actual plugin in it. It doesn't have an actual uh, installer program, so you're going to have to just, it's a zip file, it's got... A PDF with um, let's see here I wonder uh, okay so there's the zip file and there is the plugin so what I tend to do is I just um, you know copy that plugin and then I'll go into uh, applications and then go to uh, the Lightroom folder and then I just copy it into the Lightroom folder so anyways so the next thing that you're going to want to do is go over uh, in Lightroom to File, and you're going to go down to Plugin Manager. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and just remove it, just for the heck of it. And um, so for the first time when you're installing the plugin, you're just uh, going to click on Add, and then you're going to find the plugin inside that folder. So just uh, as a reminder, uh, you're going to go into your Applications folder, go to the Lightroom folder, and then click on the JPEG Mini uh, LR plugin for Lightroom. So then click Add. And then uh, once you've added it, uh, after you've purchased it, it'll, they'll send you an activation code. So you'll paste it into this area. Now, because I've already installed it, it already it's already activated. So click Done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what you're going to do is go over to, uh, again, go to File, go to Export. And then uh, I've got a ton of exports for like website and then full size JPEGs and yada yada. So, but down here in post process actions, you'll see the new JPEG mini plugin. So uh, what I've got over here, actually, uh, let's see. Again, we're just gonna take it out of there just to show you guys. So I'm gonna go to uh, full size JPEGs and then, um, oh. so you're gonna go to, uh, or not full size, whatever your preset is for exports go to insert and then um, it's going to automatically add it towards the end of the uh, of the post processing so um, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export a JPEG so you guys can actually see like the file size and uh, so what I'm going to do is just select all right click go down to export and then I'm just going to take this out so you guys can actually see uh, we're going to check and see like how big the file is. So we're going to go to export and then I am going to just put it on my desktop and whoa. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's already early and I'm already getting phone calls, probably a sales phone call. So we're just going to click there, create a new folder. And now it's going to export the two files and we're going to see like how big those files are once they've been exported. So let's see. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. So on the first one here, you can see down here that it's a, a 20.1 megabyte file. 
And then down here, we've got a 15.4 megabyte file. So um, let's see. And I wonder, let's see here. Let me just check and see if I had any compression. Nope, 100%. So um, just standard JPEG compression. So now we're going to do it again. We're going to click insert. Again, it's going to put it down at the bottom. Uh, I do recommend that when uh, you use the Lightroom uh, or the JPEG Mini Lightroom plugin, uh, just set the quality to 100 because it's going to actually downsize the file size, but not the uh, dimensions. So anyways, we're going to click export and then we're going to create a new folder just for our testing. Let's see, beta test. and then click enter. It takes just maybe a second longer for it to apply the JPEG mini, um, uh, to do the JPEG mini action. So uh, we're just gonna wait and see what it looks like. Do, 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 do. All righty. And now, ooh. okay, maybe more than just a second. But um, anyways, so, I'm going to show you these side by side. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the same file here. And what we've got over here is a 20.1 megabyte file. And that over here, after JPEG Mini Lightroom plugin, it downsizes it to 4.7 megabyte file. Now, double check down here. Uh, notice the dimensions are uh, 4912 by 7360, and they are the same dimensions over here, 4912, 7360. So, um, 20 megabytes down to 4.7, I gotta say, that is a huge. Uh, lifesaver. In fact, uh, for those of you guys that export a large number of files, this is going to save a ton of uh, hard uh, hard drive space. So, for example, when I send images to clients, I use Dropbox or Google Drive. And of course, you know, for those of you guys that maybe are paying a subscription to Dropbox, you know, for like one terabyte or something along those lines, this is going to help save a large amount of space uh, on your hard drive. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna open these in Photoshop and just go into one-to-one uh, -one and see what the image quality looks like. So, let's close, or let's um, diminish these. And so we're gonna start with the full-sized image, the 20.1 megabyte file. And of course, while you're waiting, you can drink your coffee. Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go over here now, and we're going to open the one that's been um, downsized or file size has been downsized by Photoshop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to view or window range. There we go. Two up vertical. Let me close this, and we're in the, nah, I can't remember which one this is, but we're just gonna check. So we're gonna go to view, we're gonna go to 100%, and it might be difficult for you guys to actually see the difference uh, on the uh, recording, just because you know YouTube is lovely about that kind of stuff. So then 100% on this size, Okay, so um, in this view, you can see that both of them are pretty damn close to each other. In fact, I would say they're pretty much identical. So we're gonna go into, we're just gonna zoom in a little bit more. And of course, these are a little bit of grain just because, you know, why not? <laughs> Add some sharpening to it. And then we're gonna go into this one. So we are at 300%. And I gotta say, it's from my perspective, it looks exactly the same. So 
With that being said, I highly recommend that you guys check out the Lightroom plugin um, or just JPEG Mini all around because again, it saves so much space on your hard drive. And you know, again, like if you're using a cloud service like Google Drive or Dropbox, this is gonna save you a ton of space. So that way you don't have to keep upgrading, you know, when it becomes full. So we're gonna close this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to open the new JPEG Mini Pro standalone. And they've revamped the, um, they've re re blah, revamped the interface. And the nice thing about this, I'm going to show you guys is, let's see, we are back in the folder here with the large size files, the non JPEG Mini compressed files. And the really cool thing about it is, you know, when you select both, you just drag both of them into the standalone and it'll compress both of them. So let's see how it does. Now I've used this before. In fact, uh, the really cool thing about it is that you can drag an entire folder of images into the standalone and it will go through and compress each one. So let's see, 24.47 megabytes saved, reduced by 69% two photos, um, it's pretty cool. Now you can also go in and click here and you know it'll just open up a, a window here, but I honestly just use the drag and drop. And then also you have options over here. Uh, I've never really used them before, but let's see. So you can opt optimize originals. You can save over the originals where it's, a, but you can set an option where it says warn me. Uh, you can set which folder you want it to go to. So that way um, <clears throat> you can save the original size uh, or not original, uh, blah, blah, blah. you can save it to a particular folder. So you don't have to like create a folder in Finder or in you know Windows Explorer before uh, you export, you just create a new folder here, but they have a new resize option that um, again, I, I don't really use because I keep them the original dimensions, but if you are going to use the standalone, it looks like to me, you can have the program actually downsize the image for you with some preset dimensions and stuff. Uh, max width, max height, max long edge, max short edge, and of course, you know, original size. So um, now to be, uh, to be honest, when I, size an image uh, upon export for like the web or something like that. I have a preset that I already made in Lightroom that I like, but um, you know, maybe eventually I'll test out these sizes here. So, um, but anyways, I usually just leave it at, you know, the original now privacy center. Okay. Uh, so uh, as far as standalone and Lightroom, honestly, uh, that's pretty much it, which, uh, for the most part, just kind of shows you that it's pretty darn simple. Uh, I'm going to create a second video uh, with the Photoshop plugin because, like I said, I've I haven't really used their Photoshop plugin very often. Um, what I do is, you know, if I'm working in Photoshop and then I save the image, then you know I'll have the standalone program already open, so I'll just drag it in there and it'll automatically you know downsize it. Um, so one thing I would do, whether you're using the trial version or um, if you've already purchased it, I would try out, you know, if you've got a folder that's full of JPEGs, um, you know, just drag the whole folder into uh, the standalone and it'll go through and down, you know, uh, compress all the uh, images in that folder. I've used it for my Dropbox folder because I've got like a ton of client images in there when I uh, send them the photos and, um, you know, share stuff with them. And uh, the last time I used this before the update, I just dragged the entire Dropbox folder into JPEG Mini Pro overnight and just let it run. And um, I don't remember how much size it saved me in Dropbox, but it was a lot, like probably somewhere between a quarter to a third. And I've got a terabyte account with Dropbox. So that's a, uh, that's a lot. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really want to give a shout out to uh, JPEG mini guys. Uh, thanks for sending this over. I really like um, one. I like the new look. It's uh, a lot simpler. And also I've always really liked the fact that again, the folder thing. So, you know, just dragging them into the program. And then also um, last but not least, uh, I've always used the Lightroom plugin uh, probably, you know, since these guys got started, there is a basic JPEG mini uh, 
program. However, oh, and before I forget, the JPEG Mini Pro can accept up to um, 100 megapixel images now. That's one of the things that is just, um, I think before it was like 65 or something a little bit lower than that, but especially for people that are using like digital medium format cameras or if you're using like big panos, uh, like HDR type stuff, and you're doing like nine images for a big pano or whatever, this uh, this would be a really good way to test it out and see what you think. So uh, let me just check my notes here and see what else they brought up. So um, yeah, so 100, mix, blah, 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 100 megapixel images. Uh, and then also you can, again, downsize uh, or resize the images in the uh, little preferences right here and then uh, basically export them to a folder of your own choosing. So honestly, um, I really like it. Uh, we tested it out to see how they look side by side in Photoshop and they look identical, but the fact that just with these two photos, it saved uh, you know, 69%, almost 70% size uh, by downloading, I am extremely impressed. So anyways, yeah, you could call me a fanboy, <laughs> but I love it. So try it out. I'm going to put a link down in the description uh, below so you guys can try the uh, trial for yourself. I always recommend that you do the trial first before you purchase. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to go ahead and purchase it because it's, um, it's pretty awesome. It's one of those essential things that I use all the time, especially the Lightroom plugin. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Dustin Meyer. Um, if you want to see any new videos that are coming out, just uh, click that subscribe button. If you learn something new or, um, you know, whatever, if you like the video, just click the like button. That's a huge help. And then um, any questions that you guys have about the program, about, you know, uh, JPEG Mini, just uh, put them down in the comments below. I always uh, try my best to answer the uh, uh, your questions and stuff or your suggestions down in the comment box. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, next video is going to be about JPEG Mini Photoshop plugin and um, we'll see how it works. So uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks. So got, uh, thank you. <laughs> It's morning, I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video and have a good day.